Let's start now with our special report. Digvijay Singh is not new to controversy. In fact, he's often been described as the chief contrarian within the Congress party, often taking positions that are completely different and divergent from the official party line. But this time, when Digvijay Singh repeated an earlier held position that Hemant Karkare's life was under threat from what he called right-wing Hindu groups, a storm erupted. Digvijay Singh, however, is still standing by his comments. I absolutely uh, am firm on this. I did speak to him and I have I have I've stated that already. I will be addressing a press conference tomorrow at 2.30 in, 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 uh, in Kalakshetra. So I will discuss all these things with you. Pushed to the corner over his claim that 2611 martyr Hemant Karkare had confided in him about threats from Hindu extremists hours before his death, Digvijay Singh refuses to back down. This despite hard evidence from Karkare's cell phone records which contradict the claim. Digvijay Singh had earlier claimed that he spoke to him at Karkare on the phone. On 26-11, at 7 p.m. in the evening, I spoke to him at Karkare on the mm. phone. I was in touch with him. <clears throat> and he said, Digvijay Ji, I'm very unhappy the way I'm being treated. I'm getting threatening calls from the RSS people. And at, at night at 10.30, I come to know that he's, he's no more. The first impression which came to me when this incident took place, oh God, they have taken him. But of course, the, the events were quite different. But Mumbai police sources say the records show no calls between Karkare and Singh on 26-11. Call records of all the police officers were forwarded to the Pradhan committee, which conducted an inquiry into the police response that night. Singh's remarks and the implication that Hindu groups may have caused Karkare's death had triggered a political storm, especially after he reiterated them at the launch of a book called RSS Ki Sazish 26-11 last week. It had even drawn a strong response from Karkare's widow. Pakistani Atankawadi ne uh, ye hamla kiya hai aur humne Pakistani Atankawadiyon ke khilaf humne aawaz uthana chahiye aur aisi aisi baatein karke Pakistan ko iska fayda milega aisa humne nahi karna chahiye. Singh later clarified he never said Karkare was killed by a Hindu group merely that he had received threats from them. But now there'll be pressure on the Congress General Secretary to prove an even more basic fact. Did he speak to the killed ATS chief at all? A growing controversy, but Digvijay Singh has never been known to shy away from controversy. Many say he seeks out the controversy. He's our newsmaker tonight on The Buck Stops here. Now, Digvijay Singh joining us from Guwahati tonight. Uh, you, of course, have made these remarks before. As we just saw in that report, you were right here on the sets of Buck Stops here. I remember uh, when you made the same comments, you said that Hemant Karkare had died in an encounter. But you also made the comment then that he had conveyed to you that his life was under threat from what you called right-wing Hindu groups. The bigger question, Mr. Singh, that many would ask you is why are you seeking and creating this needless controversy? Well, first of all, let me reiterate again, I have never said that Mr. Hemant Karkare was killed by some Hindu fringe elements. I have always said it, is, it was an act by the Pakistani terrorists uh, who were apprehended now, and who were killed also. Now, as far as this other thing is concerned, it is by just sheer coincidence that I happened to talk to him just a few hours before uh, this incident took place. And why should I say something which is not correct? I don't want to politicize this issue. I have never tried to politicize these, uh, this, this act. Only thing was that a book was released by Mr. Aziz Barani on uh, 6th of December, in which uh, he had put a question mark about the RSS involvement in 2611. So in that the speech in itself, I had said that there is no question of a doubt about the involvement of Pakistani terrorists. Uh, in 2611. By the same time, uh, this is a fact that uh, uh, he was very disturbed about uh, the allegations made by Mr. Adwani, Mr. Rajnath Singh, the Shiv Sena, and he was getting threatening calls from uh, Hindu elements. In fact, they had planted a story against his son also getting some kind of a contract in Dubai when he said, my son is only 17 year old. Right. At the same time, I would, I, would the last, I would be the last person to politicize this and embarrass a, a family which has gone through such stress.